In this video, we will take a look at two examples of converting repeating decimals to fractions. The first example is 0 0.7 repeating. Step one is to form an equation by setting the repeating decimal equal to x, which gives us x equals 0 0.7 repeating. Let's label this equation one from step one. Step two, if needed, multiply both sides of the equation by multiples of 10 until just the repeating digits are to the right of the decimal. For this example, this condition is already met because we just have the repeating digit of seven to the right of the decimal. So let's label this equation two as well from step two. Step three, form another equation by multiplying both sides of the equation from step one or step two by multiples of 10 so that one set of the repeating digit or digits are now to the left of the decimal. Because the seven is repeating, we need to have a new equation where we have one seven to the left of the decimal. To do this, we would have to move the decimal point one place to the right, which is equivalent to multiplying by 10, which means we take this equation here and multiply both sides by 10. 10 times x is 10x equals 10 times 0 0.7 repeating is equal to 7.7 .7 repeating. This is from step three. Let's label this equation three. And now step four, we subtract the equation from step two from the equation from step three. So beginning with equation three, we have 10x equals 7.7 .7 repeating. And now we subtract equation two, which means we subtract x from the left and we subtract 0 0.7 repeating from the right. And now subtracting, 10x minus x or 10x minus 1x is 9x equals on the right 7.7 .7 repeating minus 0 0.7 repeating is equal to seven. And now we solve for x by dividing both sides by nine. Simplifying, nine divided by nine is equal to one. One times x is x. We have x equal to seven ninths, which does not simplify. And since x is equal to the repeating decimal, we now know that 0 0.7 repeating is equal to the fraction of seven ninths. For the next example, we begin by setting x equal to 0 0.81 repeating. This is from step one. Let's label this equation one. Step two, if needed, again, we multiply both sides of the equation by multiples of 10 until just the repeating digits are to the right of the decimal. And for this example, just the eight and one repeating are to the right of the decimal, and therefore the condition from step two is already met by this equation. So let's also label this equation two. This won't always be the case, which we will see in future examples. Step three, we now form another equation by multiplying both sides of the equation from step one or step two by multiples of 10, so that one set of the repeating digit or digits are now to the left of the decimal. Because the eight and one both repeat, we now need another equation where we have an eight and one to the left of the decimal. To do this, notice how we would have to move the decimal two places to the right, which is equivalent to multiplying by 100. So now we take this equation and multiply both sides by 100. So for equation three, we have 100 times x, which is 100x, equals 100 times 0 0.81 repeating is equal to 81.81 repeating. Step four, we subtract equation two from equation three. So beginning with equation three, we have 100x equals 81.81 repeating. And now we subtract equation two. So we subtract x from the left and we subtract 0 0.81 repeating from the right. And now subtracting 100x minus x is 99x equals on the right, 81.81 repeating minus 0 0.81 repeating is equal to 81. And now we solve for x by dividing both sides by 99. And now we simplify. We have x equals 81 99ths, but this does simplify. 81 and 99 have a common factor of nine. So we divide the numerator and denominator by nine. 81 divided by nine is nine. 99 divided by nine is 11. So now we know x equals 9 11ths, which means 
0 0.81 repeating is equal to 9 elevenths. Now for these two examples, you may have noticed a pattern. When we had 0 0.7 repeating, the fraction was 1 7 over 1 9. When we had 0 0.81 repeating, we had 81 over 2 nines, and then we simplified. But this pattern is only true when all the digits to the right of the decimal repeat. If we have a digit to the right of the decimal that doesn't repeat, this pattern will not hold up, which we will see in the next few examples. I hope you found this helpful.